U.S. inflation picture is getting just a little better every month. Goods inflation has receded rapidly. Energy inflation has moderated considerably. Service inflation, driven by the critical shelter component, is still a challenge. But there's no question that rising interest rates have hit the housing market. All in all, inflation may not be receding fast enough for some analysts and policymakers, but inflation is clearly on a downward path. Importantly, the core inflation rate, excluding food and energy, as measured by the personal consumption expenditure deflator, is at 4.6%, which is now below the prevailing range for the federal funds rate of 4.75% to 5%. This is one measure that monetary policy has moved into restrictive territory. Another measure, an inverted yield curve with short-term rates higher than bond yields, has been signaling a restrictive policy since the middle of last year. And we will not know for months just how much the recent banking system impacted credit conditions. All of these factors will go into the Fed's future decisions on whether policy is sufficiently restrictive.